Tonight, parents and educators are eager, yet many apprehensive about the governor's proposal and students returning to school. Everyone I spoke with tonight say they'd like to see students back in the classroom, but many are asking, is it safe? I'm personally not comfortable with sending my kid back to school. As a mother to a high school junior who suffers from asthma, Islin the Chance of Antelope's deeply concerned about her son returning to in-person classes. Yes, he's young, but he does have asthma. While her son continues to learn virtually from home. I, I jump at the idea. I mean, that's my first knee-jerk reaction is like, I can't wait. That sounds exciting. Jennifer Haig hopes her 7th, 9th, and 12th graders will be able to return to school soon. Citing many hiccups with the distance learning process over the last nine months, she feels the best place for her kids are in the classroom. Um, they're not learning as well as they could be learning. While parents are left considering the best options for their children, educators say. Uh, we want to get back to in-person instruction with students as soon as it's safe. David Fisher's president of the union representing Sacramento's public school teachers. While um, there's a lot of excitement um, about the possibilities of getting um, back sooner than later, there's still a lot of apprehension and um, we want to make sure that we are as careful as possible going forward. Now, under the governor's proposal, students could continue virtual learning if their families weren't comfortable sending them back to a classroom. The final decision for students to return, that would be left up to individual school districts and based on the latest local coronavirus numbers.